Why did we choose to use a shipping container? And so for us, the building season up here in North Idaho is so short. There are so many projects that we wanted to get done this summer, and we didn't want to dedicate a whole month into building a shed or a structure to house everything. So by using the shipping container, it meant that in one day, we could have it delivered. In another day, we could do the excavation, and by the third day, it was in place. The second question we got was why did we bury it? So we're hoping that by burying our container into the hillside in winter, the warmth from the ground will keep the container warmer. And hopefully by keeping the container a little bit warmer and insulating it, it will prevent our batteries from getting too cold because if they get too cold in winter, they won't charge. So with the container installed, it was time to figure out the racking for the panels. Another bonus of making our own racking system was that we could make it however we wanted. And I wanted to make a tilting array system that could maximize the solar panels. We have a summer tilt and a winter tilt. One of the big benefits of the winter tilt is it should allow these panels to shed snow more easily. It also allowed us take advantage of the structure of the container as the foundation system for the racking and minimize some of the costs there. A bonus that I didn't even really think about is that the solar panels shade the container and help keep it cooler during the summertime. We installed 24 of these solar panels. They are 445 watt bifacial solar panels, which means that they actually capture light from the front and the back. We're really hoping that in winter, this helps absorb some heat and melt the snow off of the panels. Here's the basic rundown of the system. We have 12 of these five kilowatt hour lithium batteries, which gets us a total usable battery storage capacity of 60 kilowatt hours. We have two 10,000 watt inverters that combine to get us a 240 volt split phase output. We also have two of these 100 amp charge controllers for the solar panels. 